All right. Well, first of all, good morning. Thank you for being here. We are very excited. We did not stop working last week. We worked very hard through the week to just make sure that we hit the ground running. We've got a lot of things to prove this year, and we're excited to do that. So with that, you know, one of the things that I wanted to make sure that we did was come through on all the promises that we made during the campaign. We all know that we're going into a billion dollar shortfall. We know that we've got 11% unemployment. We know we've got agencies that are going to deal with a lot of difficult times. And so this is going to be something that's very important that we go into a very working mode during November and December. What you are looking at is our chairman of our transition team. Ambassador Wilkins is someone that I have great respect for. Um, I think he makes South Carolina proud. But the one thing that I was looking for was this is someone who has been through five different transitions, five different governors. He has seen what to do and what not to do. He has represented us well on the state level. He's represented us well on the national level. He knows state government. He knows the pitfalls, and he knows where we can go right and where we can go wrong. And so I could think of no better an advisor to lead this team as we go forward. You will also see Tim Pearson is going to be our executive director of the transition team. Rob Godfrey will be the press secretary, and Swathi Patel will be our legal counsel. And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to our chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let, me, let me first say uh, to uh, Governor-elect Haley, uh, I very much appreciate you allowing me the privilege to serve uh, in this transition process. Uh, I am very proud to be part of the Haley team. Uh, I believe in Mickey Haley, and I believe she is the right person uh, at the right time uh, to lead our state. Uh, the citizens of South Carolina have, have clearly spoken. Uh, they want an accountable, conservative government focused on uh, jobs and focused on reviving our state's economy. And I know that every South Carolinian, no matter who they voted for, in the primary or in the general election, now want Governor-elect Haley to succeed and be the very best governor possible. So I'm thrilled to play a small part in helping to surround Governor-elect Haley with the very best folks possible. Uh, as Governor-elect Haley said, having served in the South Carolina House for 25 years uh, and worked with five different governors, uh, I have seen my share of transitions. And I know there's a lot of work to be done between now and uh, to be ready between now and Inauguration Day. Uh, I look forward to working with Governor Lake Haley and other members of the transition team and using this important time that we have now to set up, set a clear and successful course for the Haley administration. Uh, Nikki Haley has always shown that she is a hard worker and she's willing to work hard to achieve great goals. And I pledge that uh, to the governor elect, to governor elect Taylor that the transition team will work and work very hard to establish a foundation of strength on which Governor Haley can confidently begin her work on behalf of the citizens of our great state. Thank you very much. And we'll now governor elect, I guess, take questions. Yes. Right? All right. Do you expect, given the problems that you mentioned, the billion dollar shortfall, some of the deficits the agencies are facing, and the fact that they're going to have to try to do more with less, do you expect to find it difficult at all to get people to accept a call to serve in one of these positions? No, I think, you know, what you're going to see us do is get real good business people serving in these agencies. We are going to get people that understand what it's like to be on the other side of the red tape, that understand that time is money. And if we are losing businesses time, if we are losing people time, we are losing um, South Carolina money. And so, yes, this is going to be a challenging time, but in every challenge there is a great opportunity. And I think if we don't just look at getting through this year, but we look at getting through the next five to ten years, we can actually come out of this stronger and more competitive than when we started. So you will see us work to find the most aggressive team, the most creative team, and the most talented team that we can put together for South Carolina. Mr. Ambassador, there have been a few years and a few miles since uh, you were presiding over the House chamber. Things were carried to your door. How do, how do you see things going forward? How do you make sure that it help set the path for those relationships? Uh, I think Nikki Haley is going to be a very successful governor. Uh, she's a great communicator. I think that's part part of uh, part of the uh, 
the key ingredient to being a good governor is, is being a good communicator and a good salesman for our state. She's exactly that. Uh, I have no doubt. If I had any doubt that uh, she wouldn't succeed, I probably wouldn't have agreed to do this. But I'm, I'm proud uh, to be part of her transition team and, and, and to do everything I can to help her be as successful as possible. Can we expect to see, you mentioned uh, bringing business people, Governor Kelly, into, uh, into offices. Can we expect to see a lot of folks who haven't perhaps spent as much time as Ambassador Wilkins in Columbia uh, as, as when you look for senior people as part of your cabinet team? Yeah, I think you are going to see us get very creative on what this cabinet looks like. It is really about talent. It is about willing to take on big challenges, and it is about getting the work done. Even with this transition team, the reason I chose Ambassador Wilkins was I said we need a working team. This is not a figurehead team. This is not a team that's going to look like it's got you know superstars on it. This is going to be a team that understands we are going to get to work, and it has to mean something. So the same thing with every agency. They are all going to go through challenges. We have to make sure that we get the best person in line that understands this is a team effort for South Carolina and we've got a lot to prove. Who's on the table for cabinet positions? Who is it among your uh, people that you're considering? You know, we haven't gotten there. I mean, I think that's one of the things that we're going to start, Ambassador Wilkins and I are going to start working on, along with um, getting the final transition team together and then getting to work on that. That is something, there is no agency that's more important than the other going into this next year. And what we have to make sure we do is just take our time and do this right. If there's anything that you will learn about me is if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right or we're not going to do it. Which agencies do you want to replace the cabinet member? We just don't know yet. I mean, we really are going to look at every single one. The best thing about, um, you've heard me say this before, the best thing about being the least named candidate and the least funded is I don't owe anybody anything. So I can actually put great people in those offices and know that I'm doing it for the interest of the people of this state and not because I owe anybody anything. Have any of them offered their resignation in the current cabinet? No, they have not. Can you give us a, a timetable on what the major decisions are and when you think they need to be made? Do you want to take it or do you want me to take it? Oh, you go ahead. You're doing quite well. You know, I, <laughs> you know, I think the timetable is we can't move fast enough. Um, two months goes by very fast. But the key is we have been inundated with resumes. We've been inundated with people that want to step up and really lead in these um, agencies. And so I think the key is to get the strongest transition team together that we can and then get to work on finding the agency heads that are really going to lead our state. And that is no small task, and it's one that we take very seriously, and you're going to see us work. Um, very hard. I'm sorry? How many resumes? The first day I heard we, we, we got... We can get you that number. I don't want to yeah, I don't want to overspeak. Like hundreds? Yes, yes. The very first day we got hundreds. A knowledge of the way that the legislative process works in South Carolina, how much is that a criteria for you hiring people? You know, it's, it's not. I think, again, communication is the key to everything. And so every agency head has to understand that communication with the governor's office will be a constant and that communication with the legislature has to be a constant. But I also understand communication with the legislature has to be incredibly important and communication with the people is something that has to be important. So you will see me very vocal. You will see me very active. And you will expect, um, you will see my cabinet has to do the same thing. Last question. Mr. Ambassador, you mentioned the, the five previous governors you worked with without having to name any names. Are there any mistakes that you can think of when you were given this position where you thought, okay, we need to make sure we don't do this or do do this or whatever? No, I think we need to look forward, not past. I mean, I do think, as uh, Governor-elect Haley just said, I mean, communication with the legislature is very important. I have no doubt that she, she does that well and will do that well. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, we have a lot of challenges, but challenges present opportunity. I think she has a great opportunity to move this state forward. And I'm very excited to be on her team. Well, and think about it, too. I just want to add the reason why the ambassador was just the absolute person I thought of was he knows what went right and he knows what went wrong. And rather, rather than us recreating the wheel, let's take what everybody did right and let's add to it so we can create another story as opposed to taking those same mistakes that happened in the past. I'd like to avoid those mistakes if at all possible. Thank you very much. Thank we you appreciate very much. it. Thank you.